as we were working on these curves to be converted into roads or paths, let's see how we can do that. But before I jump into that, I want to just make sure, give you the right idea of it. So I will grab a curve here, okay, and then copy this curve. Oops, the wrong one. Set one curve. And what I'll do is basically offset curve, right? Offset this curve. But oh, this is from Pufferfish. I want you to use the native one since um, you may not have that particular plugin in your computers. All right, so if I connect this one here, and if I say 10, let's say, what I'll be having is 10, right? And it's going to be overlapping or offsetting it. Then. If I grab a negative one, connect another one, connect this here, connect this distance here. And what I'm seeing now is basically I have two curves, right? And I'm having a sort of a two curves over here. And I want to connect the end and start point of this so that I can close it. Obviously, if we loft it and then grab the uh, like the boundary of it, it's possible to, but let's create sort of a curves or lines, connection lines in between these. So this one going to connect, goes and connects to this one. And this one goes and connects to this one. How do we do that? We just draw a line, right? Start to start and end to end. And if I connect all this by joining these, join curves, I will have my curve here. And if I preview this off, obviously I have to connect my offsets as well. I forgot that. So now I have my road. And when I increase this, decreases, increases, so on and so forth. So this is the logic and why don't I take this group it, scribble, grab, um, maybe increase the size, add to group, and say road logic. You know what I'll be doing? I'll be doing the very same thing. So I'll be connecting, I'll be copying this all, connecting over here. And if I recolor this with this color, I can put this back here. Since I'm using a lot of relays, I can connect this relay to this curve. And you know what I have? I have my curves over here, right? So everything is actually working with what I have done. Maybe I can preview this off. And if I preview, change the sizes, I'm changing the sizes of these connections. If I add another curve, that will also have sort of a connection in between. Maybe, I mean, we can copy this, and put it over here. Uh, I don't know, like scale it down with 0.5, rotate it a bit, push it down, push it here, move it up. And like even if you have this all three together, you see we have this as well. And obviously it eats up all these curves that are close to it. So what we are going to do next is uh, grouping this and grab a copy and paste it here. Put it at two groups. Rotate, oops, not rotation, sorry. Road formations, you can type. And then we can use this to our collusions, right? But why do we use this? Why don't we connect these all together? So to do so, I go to curve, sorry, I go to intersect, shape, and region union. And if I connect this to control group, plot a scribble, joint roads, I would type with a big R 
connect this over here but what you see is i don't have anything here you know why because the problem is i'm having only only three curves as three different branches so if i grab a param viewer what we are going to see here if you draw a tree you see we have three different branches but i want to have one single branch so that they can be joined together right and if i preview this off you see connections are off here obviously i need to preview this off too preview off preview this off too and then if i connect this as my obstacle you see i am having some like you see i have some pieces here if i increase the size like let's say nine you see i don't have anything in between and obviously if you just want to proceed with two curves um, that's okay you can proceed with these two curves and if i set multiple curves you see i have these curves already going so what i'll be doing next is basically uh, that's pretty much it for this video uh, and what i'll be doing in the next one is to connect all this and make sure we extrude them uh, with the same logic as I described in our sketch. So I'll see you in the next one.